Welcome back my Don and Donnet. Sorry I've been missing for a while. Work's just been mad hectic. So anyway, hope you're all doing well. Getting ready for the Christmas. Um, I'm supposed to do a Christmas wish list or best teenage fragrances for uh, teenagers. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get time now. But anyway, today we're talking about the best designer fragrance ever, possibly. I did Dior Intense in my previous video. I said I'll get Puff Woman and match them, but there's no need to. This one deserves its own review by itself. Sorry, my eyes are watering. Dior Homme Parfum. Lovely, dark, nice juice. And you can see the atomizer, that black straight covering it. Atomizer's underneath, but the black little uh, plastic covers it. Wow, intense is beautiful and elegant, but this is just the next level. It's just, oh, it is. I can see why people are saying the best designer fragrance ever. Anyway, so this came out in 2014, um, and then it was remade in uh, 2020. I put my batch information, which is on the you don't think you can really see it there, but it was on the box anyway. I put that into a website and this said this came out in 2020, this version. So this is a, a last year version. Um, a lot of people are saying that the 2014 version is not as good as the 2020 version. Um, I didn't get the 2014 version. I did smell it back then and I just, I don't know, I just didn't get around to getting it. But, I don't know, a lot of people are saying it's the same, some people say no, the performance is worse, but I don't know. Anyway, it, Dior website costs 112 pounds, uh, for this is 100 mil. Um, the perfumer is Francis de Marche, which I spoke about him before, he's got a documentary you need to check out called, uh, I'll put the name up, which is really good. Um, so this has iris, leather, sandalwood rose and oud it is just elegant mature classy it's just friggin fantastic it really is like it just is a class of its own for back then 2014 to then i'll have to go back and see what was out then but to smell it now it still smells good Oh, the sillage is good. You get about two hours, three hours. Um, the projection uh, is same as sillage, but it's very good. And the longevity, um, I think I put it on about, about 8.30, 9 in the morning, went to the office. I could smell it, 10, 11, 12. But after that, it kind of dissipated a bit and I couldn't smell it. And then a colleague met me at five o'clock and then we went for drinks and hugs. Oh, you smell nice. So she could smell it at five o'clock. I couldn't. Sometimes you go nose blind, you know. You have these so many senses. After a while, you just go blind. But she still smell it at five o'clock. So that proves the longevity is very good because I couldn't smell it, but she did. Um, yeah, she didn't like it. But uh, about four or five others in the office I brought it and they all loved it. Said it's very nice, smells classy and spicy and yeah. So good compliments from in the office. Performance is good. Um, but yeah, just versus 2014 versus 2020, I, I, I can't comment. But looking at the comments on Fragranta and Facebook groups, a lot of people are saying it's the same as back then. It's even better now. So it's all subjective, I suppose. But yeah, Dior Parfum, uh, Om, Dior Om Parfum, it is very nice. I really do like it. I'm glad I own it. I'll be wearing this, I don't know when, when I go out somewhere maybe. Uh, and then, um, yeah, it's just really nice. So yeah, it's 112 pounds, very expensive. Um, I think because it's kind of tailored towards their high end, you know, they Dior, our designer house, but they have some niche side of fragrances, you know, Amber Noeet and Fairly Delicious, which I've been trying to get, I can't find. Um, you know, they have a lot of uh, Mason collection, Mason La, La collection, that one's high, high end, 250 and upwards. But as designer, you know, Savage, Fahrenheit, all of your classics, 
you know, they've been quite a solid house. And um, yeah, Francis de March is left now. And uh, Mesa Francis Kerjan is the new head performer. So I'll be looking to see what the first new uh, Dior fragrance will be. That'll be quite interesting because Francis Kerjan, obviously, you know from my last video, Mason Francis, he does his own line of fragrances, but he's now their head perfumer. So be very interesting. Anyway, Dior Homme Parfum, definitely worth the sniff at least. It's very expensive, but yeah, definitely check it out. But I mean, the intent is less expensive, but that's quite nice. But I think this performs a bit better. Yeah, this does perform a bit better. The concentration is more, even on the website, the intensity is four dots, where uh, intense is like three. But I think the intense is nice, but this one is just amped up a bit. I think it's got a bit of oud. It gives it a bit more of that power. But um, yeah, I love it. Definitely check it out. Dior Home Parfum. That's enough from me. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Merry Christmas in advance. <laughs>